Hi, this is Ryan from Independent Locksmiths and Security in Sydney. Uh, today we wanted to explain the evolution of Australian padlocks and how they're used um, in commercial installations. About 30 years ago, we started with the um, Lockwood 234 padlock, which was an inline um, padlock, top loaded, snap shut padlock. So it had a unique barrel that looked like this when it was built. The, the, the um, barrel was inserted, pins and springs loaded from the top, plugs bashed into the top and linished off to finish. Snap shut because you can take the key out and snap shut the padlock without the key being in there. There was also a need at that time for key retention Hence, we moved to the uh, 24550 padlock, which was a heavier duty style padlock. Again, had its unique um, plug that only fitted this style of padlock. And you'll notice that I can't take the key out without the, key, without the shackle being in the lock position. That stopped... Um, uh, padlocks being unlocked in the field. The next step in the evolution was to move to the 234-45 padlock which was more of a modular uh, configuration and took a standard 530 cylinder. The 530 cylinder was inserted into the, um, uh, into the padlock. The 530 cylinders are easier to load than the older style of loading it into the, the top of the padlock. And this cylinder also fitted other padlocks in the other lock sets in the range, which meant that Lockwood could effectively get rid of these two lines. As the um, 530 was the 530 cylinder was coming out of patent, Lockwood created the figure eight cylinder and stepped up to the 234B45 style padlock. It, this was uh, modular um, in design just like the, the, the 234-45 was. Um, the uh, cylinders came pre-loaded so that you just had to insert the, the barrel into the cylinder there and insert that into the padlock. This padlock is actually configured with a collet and chain. Collet is a small round piece of metal that gets, uh, after the chain's been slid over the shackle, gets belted up and over the top of the shackle to ensure that the chain stays on the padlock. And then the other end of the chain is um, fit it off to a gate or a hatch of some sort where the, where, the, um, where the padlock's being installed so the padlocks don't get thrown away or taken off site. The next step in the evolution was to go to the, um, the 334B45 um, style padlock. Again, similar to the um, 234B in the figure 8 style of, um, um, of housing. However, this, this housing here is unique to the 334B45 and the 215 padlock and takes a 570 plug. So the 570 plug is uh, common in the Lockwood range. Uh, this padlock here also does um, can be configured to be snap shut or um, key retained. Where a situation is required for a smaller shackle, so shackle diameter of 6mm, such as petrol bowsers, okay, the Lockwood 215 is used. Okay. Just moving on to some other brands um, in the uh, oh, just just before we move on, everything from the 
B45 backwards is now redundant and end of life. So um, the manufacturer no longer produces parts for it um, and we wouldn't recommend using these style of padlocks um, in a newer keying system. Um, if, you, if there are a large amount of padlocks in an installation that are the, the 334 B45 style, then they could be reused um, because uh, they are a modern padlock that we can acquire parts for um, and the cylinders are fairly standard, the, the plugs are fairly standard. Just looking at some other brands now, um, with Bylock it went through a similar evolution as Lockwood um, with a top with, with the original 234 style plug being inserted into the padlock and then so reten a retaining pin being attached to the side. The new generation of Bylock um, padlocks now takes a figure eight style um, housing to give it more flexibility. Over here we have a range of shackle sizes. So these are interchangeable in um, most of these padlocks um, depending on the application. Just a couple of other padlocks here, one from Abus and one from Master. Uh, these both take a different style of cylinder which is known as a PD cylinder. Again, it's, it's figure eight um, in, in, in configuration, modular. Fairly common style of cylinder that we can uh, put into these padlocks. This Masters uh, Pro Series 6627 padlock is a high security all weather padlock um, with a thicker diameter shackle, some water resistant collars and a cover to go over the um, cylinder there. This is actually a, a cyber key cylinder in the PD style that can be fitted into the padlock. We hope you found this information helpful in trying to identify and explain how padlocks in Australia have evolved. Thank you.